Bears, where's your AK videos? I don't think he has any more AKs. I see. All you do now is AR videos. <laughs> yeah. What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about my favorite AK safety selector. I found this about a year and a half ago when I was doing the build for uh, my rebuild, which you see I still haven't painted my dust cover, um, of this AK-74. You saw the AK-74 rebuild project and uh, I found it then when I was going on the internet. It was between that and a Krebs. I used a Krebs in the past. I wasn't impressed. Um, I forgot about it. I ordered the Krebs and I again wasn't impressed with it. Was I impressed with the workmanship? Obviously yes. Was I impressed with the operation? No. Particularly when I use this Armicon Russian safety selector. So the thing in my opinion that puts us ahead of the pack so to speak is when you have your safety selector here your thumb placement's straight. <clears throat> On the Krebs it has a little bit of a, a hump right here which I guess is going to have your finger like this to push down and I found that very uncomfortable in my usage. Having it flat, you just smack that bitch down, smack that bitch up, safety, unsafety. It's real easy, real quick, um, and it works really well. Now you just saw the Armicon there. On this one right here, this is a normal one. You can see it to reach your finger way up front here. I hate it. I actually wanna switch this one out. Um, now granted, I just painted this, so it might be a little bit sticky, but still, Usually they use your middle finger to get the uh, safety selector to, uh, to go. And you have to, you know, either bend these out a little bit. I think I have a video on it. You have to bend them out a little bit to get them to work operationally well. Blah, blah, blah. Get the Armicon. Now, if you're paying close attention at home, when you look at these two uh, AK safety selectors, you'll see that they're identical. The only difference is on the Armicon, they add this lever right here. So if you're worried about if you're going to put it on your AK and is it going to fit, is it going to work the same, blah, blah, blah. It's going to work the same as any AK safety selector you have on there. These are two uh, Bulgarian AK-74s and um, the machining and everything is identical to what the stock one was uh, from these. So if you want to upgrade your AK-74 or 47 uh, safety selector, I definitely would recommend you take a look at this Armicon safety selector, this Russian safety selector. I got mine on circle eight, circle10ak.com, I believe was where it was. Um, they're gonna run you at the same as what the Krebs Custom does, so you're not really spending any more or any less money than what you would for a Krebs. Um, now granted, I got mine a year, year and a half ago, so prices may vary. But, um, you know, bunch of rounds through the, uh, this gun right here, and um, no problems whatsoever. Um, it's not a bolt hold open, so it's just like a standard um, stock AK safety selector. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys do have an uh, Armicon safety selector, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and let us know how it works for you, or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. I'm gonna finish this up. <clears throat> so if you're looking for an AK safety, blah, blah. I don't like the way that came out at all. <laughs>